Some things have uh, popped up on on social media that are really interest me, and I kind of wanted to go over these things. Um, as you can tell by the title, it seems like Xbox fans desires brand over the games themselves. Um, I haven't seen anything out of Microsoft uh, rated really high, even by like you know the general consensus. It's it's pretty crazy. You know, consumers aren't rating their 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 product high. They're not really putting that much out there. So, I'm I'm just trying to wonder what is the driving force of their argument for Microsoft buying Activision. I, to, to be honest with you, I hope Call of Duty, and I've always hoped that Call of Duty failed way before um, the acquisition even happened. I just don't like Call of Duty. Never liked it. I thought other games were better, and that got you know. That got its little notoriety because of how they incorporated, you know, aim assist or, you know, aim basically aim lock on. But there are some questions or there are some comments that I've heard on social media that I wanted to kind of bring forth and, and shed some light on. You know, um, these are the things that basically Xbox fans have stated about the deal. And it goes as follows. They think that the deal should go through because Sony has brand recognition, and they don't. They already have their single player, player Uncharted and and Horizons and Spider Man and God of War, and so that what does it matter that Activision, you know, actually is purchased? They get their Call of Duty, and um, you know, Sony has their their first party games. The question, the, well, the thing that the problem that I get with this, right? Is that um, you already had Call of Duty. You already had Call of Duty. So uh, this 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 ongoing fight and, and and just this all this passion for them buying it, I just don't get it. Is it just to knock Sony down a, a peg or two? I don't understand. I don't understand it because you know there's also Nintendo and they don't they don't say anything about them. Uh, they also stated that uh, Sony needs to put needed to focus on a Call of Duty killer, which, you know, they sat there and rested on our laurels on single player games, essentially. Um, and now they're scrambling to find a Call of Duty killer. So let me just put things in perspective. Uh, the entirety of the PlayStation 3 generation, they focused on multiplayer and trying to put their own game on the map, their own multiplayer games. So there was a time where they spent the entire generation focused on network games, whether it be PlayStation Home, Resistance Fall Man with the co-op, uh, Star, what is it, uh, Starhawk, Star, Star Hawk, excuse me, Warhawk, uh, uh, if I didn't mention Killzone, Killzone, Uncharted, The Last of Us, uh, My Nation Racers, Little Big, they've done a whole bunch to try to see what's going on in the investment really didn't work out for them. It just didn't. It didn't work out. And so they realized with The Last of Us and Uncharted that their niche is in single player games. What also happened is that multiplayer games in general has transformed during the PS4 era. People are basically playing Fortnite and just other games as a service. Even Call of Duty and, and Activision suffered a loss to uh, Fortnite and, and Epic Games prompting everybody to essentially go this, this go to this battle royale and i will admit sony is very s slow to do things and it's one of their particular issues um when PUBG was really big on pc they essentially you know jumped on the bandwagon of you know uh battle royale games on a platform that was free to play these particular games and that's how they got big on there so, I mean, it's not like they, were, they weren't trying. They've been doing it. They did it a whole eight years. So I don't understand that one. Uh, they said that they make too many single-player games. So it kind of leads into another particular issue. What, do you expect multiplayer games to be a thing only? Like, do you want the gaming space to be completely exclusive to single-player games? If so, that's, like, so fucking ridiculous if you want something like that. You know, where's the game variety? And I and one thing I keep saying, especially on Twitter, you don't get it. You don't get it. There's a big problem 
it's not just about the game being successful in terms of money or being free to play. You still have to respect people's time. Time is also a currency. People cannot divide their time equally with all of these games. So the creme de la creme, or the one that basically they deem worth it, will surface to the top. That's going to be their most successful game, period. That's just what it is. I don't understand why that's such a difficult thing to understand. It makes no sense to me as to why it is. You know, we should have all sorts of different games in general. But the problem here is brand loyalty, which I'll be talking about this weekend, and how brand loyalty actually stifles and stunts the media, not media, the market, excuse me. That's a big problem where you have really good original games and people don't buy it. You know, Sony fans are known to just praise these particular single player games and then they do nothing um, uh, to support it. You know, they just want it in their roster and and that's the end of it, which is kind of weird to me. Uh, They claim that Sony is very complacent, mainly due to the PS4 era in terms of making single player games or multiplayer games. And that they should basically copy, copy someone else. And normally, especially me making, I I, I make instrumentals and things of that nature. It is a conversation worth talking about in that particular regard. Because even in the music industry, people don't want to hear new things. They want to hear things that are similar. I don't know if it's like a lazy thing where their brain needs to wrap around. You know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 it. They don't want to try anything new because learning something new is uncomfortable. It almost feels like that. So people don't typically go elsewhere. They want to have something that's familiar. Once again, I will be talking about that this weekend. Um, But the point remains. Sony doesn't do RPGs, right? Western RPGs in particular. And Sony has dabbled into it when they made Horizon, you know, and to a lesser extent, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. And it's done wonders. That familiarity is a way for them to kind of infiltrate that market. And then they add their spin to it that Sony only can do. That high production value, heavy story driven spin to it. But now, I I do agree. I concur. Uh, They need to focus on multiplayer games. One of these days, I'm going to talk about this too. Again, because I feel like. But do you want just games as a service? I do think that, honestly, right? I feel like mm, co-op games is probably going to be a way of the future, especially when it comes to a lot of older gamers, you know what I mean, uh, that, that really can't compete with the younger gamers. I feel like that's really going to be um, the, 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 the status in that particular regard. But more concerning, right, is that they really think that Microsoft should have the ability should be allowed to just steal the market, you know, just because they haven't in the last 22 years made something out of themselves. It's kind of crazy to me for that mentality. And the thing is, when it comes to Call of Duty, you already had Call of Duty on your platform, right? So I don't know why you want it to be removed from another platform just because you want Xbox to succeed because of what brand loyalty. It's like... They've taken a whole publisher, and you guys are not really realizing any X-Bot, X, you know, fanboy, essentially, are not seeing what the damage could be when it comes to this stuff. You know, what are you going to put it on? The Game Pass is free to play, and, and, and only, <laughs> that's going to be the only successful game on Game Pass. No one's going to try anything else. They're going to wait for the next Call of Duty, and Call of Duty takes up a lot of people's time. So what's the point of doing it that way? You know, people have shit to do and and they're going to just focus on one thing at a time and it's going to be Call of Duty. It's not going to be an indie game. So I just don't understand the rhetoric. I don't get where they're coming from when it comes to this stuff. It doesn't make sense as to why they think they should just take it, you know. Now, I said in the beginning of this video that I do want Call of Duty to end. I want something else to take its place and hopefully it'll be better. Because it's just at this point in time, I don't feel like it's a quality title. I just don't. You know, sue me. Sue me. It's just weird that you got a lot of people that 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 is from 
the Xbox community just only want this because they want to get at Sony for destroying their nostalgia, essentially. Uh, it's like you, you can't, most of these people, most of Xbox fans don't really play games and a number show for it. It's just like you're so stuck in nostalgia where you used to play LAN uh, parties with, with Halo. It's just a weird setup, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. But that's my video. If you like what you heard, don't don't forget to subscribe. I have these videos basically once a week. And then there's the podcast at the end of the week on Saturday. So I hope you see you there. Peace out. PlayStation.